And Milwaukee looking at who they've got. Filling out the wings, it's Middleton and Antetokounmpo. Robin Lopez out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Hill in at the point. Lopez. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Yeah, the defender all over him. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. For Milwaukee, they have hit most of their free throws tonight. Five of six. All right, now, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He doesn't get the second one. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. One shot. You can't forget to box out the shooter. That's a huge mistake. The Bucks have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. One shot. One shot. That's good from out of the Kumbo. The Hawks trail by 18. Outside T. Collins, a screen on Middleton. Over to the left wing. Just five on the clock. Collins, good. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Bucks leading by 16. Kicks it to Middleton. Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. Collins grabs the miss. Atlanta's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. There's the pick. Over to the wing, from the arc. Can't hit, the Bucks go the other way with it. You can't get in a much better position for the three than that. Everything was right on target, it just didn't fall. Middleton inside the three-point line, another miss by Middleton. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Young pass to Cephalosha. And Young, here we go, and it's sent back by Hill. Young with no one around, and it comes off the front of the rim. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. Takes it down to Middleton for three, and a great assist by Kumbo as that one goes in. On to Takumbo's got three assists now in this one. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And Teague, here we go, to the middle. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. Tell you what, he's not an easy guy to stop when he's got his sight on the rim. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Did he just go chop-chop there with that one-hand tomahawk slam? Now here is Hill. Ten points for him. Pick up by Hill. Here's Honda Takumbo. Atlanta with the rebound. Young's got three rebounds so far in the game. Outside T. And it's sent back by Lopez. To the middle. Here's Middleton. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Well, that fast break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it. And then excellent execution.
Atlanta calls timeout. You have to like what we're seeing from Antetokounmpo. He's on fire. They needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. right now Doris yes guys Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team he told them to be looking to attack in the open floor he doesn't want them getting slowed down in half court sets he wants the fast break to be a major weapon he also said he wants them going hard to the boards at both ends of the floor not just the defensive backboards well they need to make something happen before the start of the fourth quarter and maybe those changes will do the trick thanks Doris how about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it he, he made it look easy that time. The Hawks trail by 17. Young outside. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. That's his first personal foul. The Hawks shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Young. Two shots. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. And he sinks the second. Timeout called by Milwaukee. Okay, let's keep it going. Go, go. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Young against Hill. Lopez outside. Pass to Lopez. From the baseline. And he gets it to go. Lopez has got nine. The Hawks trail by 18. Down low. Here's Free. Beautiful finish and the layup goes down. And that's got to happen if they want to have a chance to turn this thing around. I mean, he needs to just take the game over. I mean, it seems like he's been hesitant to pull the trigger. Now, here's Adedekumbo. He's got 18. And now, here comes Teague leading the break. Pass to the monster. Hawks passing it around. The three from Cephalosha. Rebound, Milwaukee. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Middleton with it. He's got 16. Outside Hill. The dish now to Lopez. It's back to Hill from past the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Young against Hill. And Teague has it in the corner. There's the pick. Lopez over to help. Here's the monster, and he takes that one up and powers it through. Yeah, he went for a little extra on that one. Well, he usually yes. doesn't finish soft, obviously. You know, he can when necessary, sure, but not that time. Not when you can throw it down like that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Middleton drives in. There's the triple. They get it back. 
Here's Lopez. Tries yet again. Lopez, no what? Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. The three from Sepalosha. And it's out of bounds for the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. Splitter is checked in for the Hawks. Eric Bledsoe is checked in for Milwaukee. Here's Young. He's got seven. Sepalosha dishes the tee. It's Young on the wing. Lopez covering. Splitter sets a screen. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got five rebounds tonight. To the inside. On Dezacumbo. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two shots coming up. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Bucks? Fantastic passing. We saw it in the first half, and it's carried over here in the second. Something we've also seen them doing tonight okay, is getting the long ball to shots. go down. Two Big shots. points from outside. First free throw is good. And the Bucks making a change here. Corbers checked in. Both good from the line that time. The Hawks trail by 19. Young outside. Fareed a screen on Bledsoe. Young from outside. That's good. Young's got 10 points in the game. There is no way. No way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? Bledsoe kicks to Honda Takumbo. Korber against Splitter. Here's Honda Takumbo. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Honda Takumbo's got 22 points. Atlanta's gotten the three point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it, nine times they've missed. Now here is Cephalosha. 10 points for him. Fareed outside. Five on the clock. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Bloodsaw. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And there on your screen are some of the top dual threats during the regular season. The point guards with the most success from three. And you look at Young, third in the NBA. He's someone that if you leave him alone, he's going to knock it down. You know, if there are no other options available, any of right, these now. guys Take can just Take step back and knock two down shots. a triple. Great backup plan for any point guard to have. Well, forget about using it as a backup plan. With the numbers this group puts up from deep, I think it should be plan A to have them stroking it from three. Take a look at what Bottom's been doing. He has 11 points and six assists. He's gotten after it on the boards for them as well as in the transition game. And I like the fact that one has really fed into the other. And the Hawks making a change here. Okafer's checked in. The Bucks also with the sub. Wesley Matthews checked in for Chris Middleton. And so he makes both from the line. Bucks leading by 16. Now Bloodsoe. Nine points in the game so far. Outside, out of the Kumbo. The kick out to Matthews. Just four to shoot. But they recover it. Here's Lopez. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. And the Bucks lead by 18. Atlanta's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And here is Teague, 11 points in the game. And Fareed kicks to Teague. Back to Fareed. Okafor, the pass to Teague. 
and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. DJ Augustine's checked in for Jeff T. Jared Bayless has checked in for the Bucks. Picked by Okafor. Feeds it to Splitter. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Okafor dishes to Fareed. Splitter sets a screen. Five to shoot. Back to Fareed. Young for three. The shot is off. Corver with the defensive effort. Bucks leading by 18. Out to the right wing. And Jared Bayless, the bucket on the assist from Adetokounmpo. On to Takumbo. He's got assist number five here tonight. Young outside. He kicks the splitter. Off the screen. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. They get it again. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Defense. Defense. Right wing. Lopez inside, guarded by Augustine. Second chance shot, and it's Lopez laying it in. Lopez has got six. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now, here is Young. 12 points for him, and it's blocked. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Corbin. And the Hawks making a change here. Collins has checked in. Here is Augustine. And here's Young from the arc. Another miss by Young. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. Now here is Augustine. Lock at six. And Young kicks to Collins. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Bucks leading by 22. One fifty-three left in the third. And it's Corver in the corner. Atlanta with the rebound. Fareed's got his third rebound tonight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Here's Collins. The kick out to Fareed. Passes it to Augustine. Okafor against Matthews. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Milwaukee's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here's Corbin for three. And that comes off the assist by Jared Bayless. And that's 11 points in the game for Kyle Corver. There's a minute left in the third. And Young, here we go. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Matthews against Young. The second chance effort. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Here's the three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. They're getting a bunch of their points outside of the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. And the defense is just not closing out quick enough. Okafor gets the bucket. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And Fresh picks up the foul.
Here's Bayless. And no good trying to get that one. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. The Bucks on top just dominating this one. We're going to step aside for just a second. But join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. of round one in the NBA playoffs. Hawk shooting 38% from the field, a pretty neat showing for them. We've got Okafor, Tim Hardaway Jr. out there with DJ August. Then it's turn, and it's splitter in at the four spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Augustine passes to Okafor. Splitter goes up and lays it. Excellent. Splitter's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for Atlanta. Bledsoe against Augustine. Lopez a screen. Plumwood dishes just a Lopez. Shoots from eight. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Well, Lopez has been great. Nine points and four blocks. He's piling up the rejections to go along with the tremendous work he's done on the glass. It's been about the paint and the way he's been able to control it all game long. For Atlanta, Brooke Lopez. Two shots. All right, now, take a break, take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good for the Hawks. The Monsters check in for Okafor. Cephalosha comes in for Turner. And it's Teague in for Tim Hardaway Jr. The box also changing it up. And Ida de Kumpo's checked in for Plumley. Chris Middleton comes in for Marco Bellinelli. And George Hills subbed in for Jared Bayless. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's T. He feeds it to Cephalosha. Pass the splitter. It's stolen by Ida de Kumpo. Middleton for three, and that one's good. Middleton's got 19 points. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. Dishes it to Cephalosha. Now the pass to Augustine to the left side wing. Bledsoe against T. Six to shoot. Three-pointer Augustine. That's good. And so T with the assist. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take him long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. They set the screen. Blunzo kicks to Lopez. Rebounded by Safarosha. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job. Always important to have that good interior defense. Hawks passing it around. Looking for a splitter. He gets it there. And it's sent back by Lopez. Onda Takumbo kicks to Lopez. Lets it go with a three. Middleton can't get it to go. For Atlanta, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. With nobody on him, he carries the jump. 11 points for the Monster. Here's Hill. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Lopez, a screen on Augustine. Hill passes to Lopez. And the three ball is good. Back-to-back -back threes for him. Defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or she'll give up points in a hurry. Now here is Augustine. They set the pick. 
pass to the monster. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Oh, nice play there to get a hand on that pass and tip it out of bounds. Just a whisker away from coming up with the steal there. Atlanta making some changes. Justin Holliday's checked in for Cephalosha. And Max subbed in for Jeff T. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Oakland's checked in. Shot clock at five. Holiday misses off the left iron. You could tell he assumed he'd be able to beat the defensive coverage, even though it was all over. Bloodso kicks to Middleton. Shot from the wing. That's good. Middleton's got five points now in the quarter. And after his last game, really not surprised to see him as hot as he is here tonight. There's a good screen. Mack dishes to Augustine. The monster throws it down with the quick put back camp. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Augustine against Bloodsoe. And it's Anadokounmpo penetrating. He dishes it to Lopez. Back to Anadokounmpo. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. He's their go-to guy. And when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. Splitter sets a screen for Augustine. He had stolen by Anadokounmpo. Here's Bledsoe. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. What a performance from Bledsoe here. He has 11 points. And from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. And shot, when gentlemen? it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. And as he's checked in for Chris Middleton. That's good from Bledsoe. Atlanta's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Now here is Augustine. He's guarded closely. Now that is his seventh field goal in ten tries. He's shooting a very good 70%. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. And there's the feed to Copeland. Back to Bledsoe. Thanked in off the glass. That one was solid. There's a big difference in the field goal percentages between these two teams here in the second half. And, Greg, that difference has come about because we've got one team moving crisply, getting good shots, and the other is just kind of stagnant. We had a nice open look right there. He just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Kicks to Antetokounmpo. And the foul on the monster. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Not his best moment. Obviously, no one on their team's happy right now, but you shouldn't be taking that frustration out on your opponent with a poor foul. Now here's Ennis. Down to five on the shot clock. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. They set the pick. Mack, the pass to split. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. Shooting for the Splitter. Two shots. And that one falls for Splitter. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Kenneth Fareed, he's checked in for the Hawks. The Bucks also with the sub. Miles Plumley's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Splitter drops them both. 
Bloods are with it. Pass to Copeland. This one for three. Rebound Atlanta. Augustine's got three rebounds now in this one. The kick out to Fareed. Screen by Fareed. Here's Mack, guarded by Bloodsoe. Bloodsoe comes over to help. Here's Augustine. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Bloodsoe kicks to Ennis. Plumley against Fareed. Fades. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Four of their last five makes came off of a high quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. Here's Mack. Three pointer Augustine, and that one's good. Augustine's got a couple of three pointers now in the fourth for Atlanta. That's a layup for him. He's just too open. Now here's Ennis. The dish to Bloodsoe. Lopez a screen. Bloodsoe passes to Lopez. Here's Holiday. He dents the rim with a two-hand slam. And I love that the instant that steal was made, they were out in the open floor. Ball pressure leading to the run out. Man, it doesn't get much nicer than that. That is sweet, sweet stuff. Now here's Budzo. Now Lopez. Fires from 14. The rebound by Holiday. Feeds it to Augustine. Screened by Fareed. Here's Matt. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Excellent ball movement there, guys. And that's keyed this run. Passing it with purpose. The D hasn't been able to keep up. And look, rightfully disappointed with how they played here over the course of this run. Yeah, you know, they haven't looked good at all here lately. Something has to change for them. And We'll see what he's got coming out of the timeout. Timeout called the Bucks. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. The Monsters checked in for Splitter. Cephalosha comes in for Justin Holiday. Teague is checked in for Shelvin Mack. Young is subbed in for Augustine. Milwaukee also making some changes. Matthews, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Corver in for Ennis. Now here's Bloodsoe. Wide open look. The shot no good. And Atlanta will go the other way. Down low. Umley with the steal. Now here's Matthews. Covered by Cephalosha. Fires the three. Matthews no good. And he's really having all sorts of problems with this jumper right now. Yeah. Big time. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all would apply. You look at what Teague has done so far. He has 11 points, and from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Well, when he squared himself up and gotten good looks, okay, he's knocked them down. Two shots. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Bucks leading by 22. And here's Bledsoe. 
Plumley with the screen. Bloodsoe outside. Shot clock at six. Out of bounds, Atlanta takes possession. And really just a lack of awareness on his part. Just no idea he was right near the line. Tyler Ennis is checked in for Milwaukee. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. And he's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. Here's Atlanta now. They're on a 16-6 run. There's a screen. Young dishes the tee. Here's Cephalosha. The monster passes to Young. Shot clock at five. The kick out to tee. Off target with the open look. Bucks leading by 22. Matthews into the lane. Comes up empty down low. Well, he's gone without a field goal. And that certainly is below par for him. His team has still found a way to get it done. And Young kicks the tee. Pass to the monster. There's the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. That's a two for Matthews. Second chance shot. The shot's good from Plum. Plumlee's got four points in the quarter. Where's the box out? Some easy second chance opportunities there. Those kinds of mistakes drive me crazy and will absolutely derail a team's chance to win. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. Atlanta with the rebound. The Monsters got double-digit rebounds now in the game. There's a screen. Young pass to the monster. Teague drives in. Misses off the right iron. Bucks leading by 22. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Bucks. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out to this is going to punish them. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Anika Kumpo. And with the way he came out energized on the defensive end in particular, getting a hand on a lot of shots, that really got them rolling. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And that one misses. Atlanta's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. Picked by Okafor. And it's sent back by Plumley. Outside Matthews. From outside the arc, the shot, no good. And, you know, he's a threat from deep, no doubt about it, but it just has not been there for him tonight. You might want to change your game plan a little bit offensively. Picked by Okafor. They double him with Matthews to the right side. Here's Augustine, and that one hits back iron. Ennis with the ball. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it.
And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And as the fans file out of the building, now time to head over to Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith for the Post Game Show. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it's become a routine night for him with his regular double-double once again. He does that as easily as ordering that number two combo. And how'd you feel about his performance, Shaq? Well, the playoffs are where you're really tested. His performance tonight was an example of the kinds of performances you got to string together to win championships. I like his attitude. He had poise, desire, an edge. He had it all going on the whole game, right? I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. And we are still early in the postseason. There's more round one action of the NBA playoffs coming your way. For Shaq and Kenny the Jet Smith and Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K Sports crew. Good night, everybody.